Hey everybody. Wait, I want to make sure that we don't get naked Hannah in the shot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind Hannah, she's changing. <laughs> um, so hi. I feel like I don't remember the last time I made a video. I don't remember how long ago it was. Are you just gonna make noise the entire time? I'm gonna try really hard not to. <laughs> I'm leaving in five minutes. <laughs> but Emily posted two videos in a week from the Amazon, so I feel obligated to make a video even though I'm crazy with midterms right now, trying to section off all my time and to get all of the studying done that I need to do. And it's gonna be close. Hopefully I can pull it off. But I have so much to tell you, so I really do have to actually make a video this week. Um, first of all, I mentioned in my last video that I was gonna actually be performing this past week. <coughs> my dance history professor, um, Jennifer Salk, I uh, was collaborating with Chase Angier. A Angier? D Chase. D Chase. D Chase. Angier. I don't know if any of you have met my mom's best friend, Carolyn, but Chase is essentially just like Carolyn, except a dancer and choreographer and professor, and it's beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, they were working together to create this piece in Gould Hall, which is the College of Built Environments building. Basically, it's the architecture building. I hadn't been inside it before, but the inside is like four stories of like space with balconies all around and this great big cement staircase that zigzags up all four floors and there's a cafe and a really nice wood floor actually like really danceable wood floor and there's a cafe with all these tables and the piece was about um a man and a woman two of the grad students in the department um trying to find each other but they keep getting lost because the space is so big and there's just miscommunication and it, it just doesn't go well for a really long time. So the audience was actually moving around the space. There's a part when they were looking down on us from above as we were dancing on the tables and there's a part where they're looking across the space from a balcony into a classroom where we were yelling at each other like crazy people. <laughs> was it the second show? <laughs> I think it was the second show. We walk in. We walk into the classroom and <clears throat> we've been rehearsing all week with students in there working on some big project and it's always really awkward because we sit down with our backs to the window facing into the studio and they just kind of look at us like there's 16 dancers staring at us. What do we do? And then we start we stand up and we start yelling at each other about really random crazy stuff and you they just stare at us. Down the garbage disposal. <laughs> I was trying to save money. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but the second show, the first show there was no one in there, and the second show <laughs> there was one guy in the room, and he happened to be sitting right in the middle of where we were performing, but in the back, so like the audience, I don't think the audience could see him, but he was facing us, which was extra awkward, like normally they, they're like, kind of like, like this, looking at us like, what's, what's going on? But... This guy was like on his computer with his headphones on and then he sees us all staring right at him face on and he's like What? And then we stand up and start arguing and I forget who told me someone told me that they saw he Realized there was an audience outside the classroom looking in and was just like what do I do? That's why I said specific work is the best. The best. Baby turtle down the garbage disposal. How yep. are we not supposed to laugh during that? I don't know. I was trying to say so, yeah, She's talking about there's this part where we <laughs> freeze. Everyone freezes except for Dylan and Haley who are two of like the most wonderful dancers in the apartment. They're beautiful human beings. Yes. And <laughs> So and so for a moment it's just them arguing so we can all hear what they're saying the audience can't really hear anything but a murmur because the windows are thick but um they're always yelling about something ridiculous and we have to hold perfectly still and we're still supposed to look angry at each other so we can't smile and it's the most impossible thing in the whole world i failed and then exactly. like always whenever we unfreeze and go back my partner and i are always like what are they talking about why are they talking about turtles i don't know what's going on and then brenna who's like the main um character runs in and comes in between our conversation to open the window and we're like ah there's a person between us <laughs> so that was hello <laughs> there should be a video of it eventually online hopefully and, there's and is photos. tim gonna post the pictures i have no idea probably i have, I have no idea it's, if work. Tim's photos, I'm eating asparagus, so don't mind my asparagus. If Tim's photos are up, I will set, put a link in the description and repost the video and whatever and be like, hey, look, you can see pictures, because I think it, yeah, it's really cool. Ow. Risha thought so. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Risha thought so. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so s
is adorable. She's our biggest fan. That's what Reese is great. She. So she's our um, Japanese roommate. She came to the show because she's gotten really into contemporary dance since she came here. And um, she, after the show, she literally couldn't say anything. She liked it so much that she was like actually speechless. Like she couldn't say anything other than wow for like 20 minutes. So now it's finally daytime when I'm filming so I can actually show you the view out my window. See, this is my bed and then this is the window by my bed and you can see the water, it's kind of where like Lake Union meets Lake Washington, because they're not actually lakes, that's just deception. And, <laughs> and it's really pretty, and there's a bridge, and you can see the Space Needle. See, it's orange, it's cloudy, so it's, you can't really see it, but it's orange. Um, even though we haven't really been sticking to a video schedule, I really like when I just see one of your faces in my sub box, it's really fun. Just be like, oh, surprise Emily video. But I haven't seen any Jerry Lee or Vanessa videos in a long time and it makes me sad. Although, my sub box could have eaten them. I think I've made like three videos so far, which is like all of my videos, in which I'm like, someone needs to make a video, and then I post it, then I realize that they already did. Stupid sub box eating videos. I voted. Well, I guess I haven't voted yet because I haven't put it in the mail, but I voted. Are you guys voting? Vote. Well, I've been talking for nine minutes, so it's probably enough. Um, I guess I will edit this now, and I will see you all when you post pictures of your beautiful faces. Pictures? I mean videos. I will, I will see your beautiful faces when they randomly appear in my sub box, which is fun. I miss you. Bye!